How do you get started on an Android app? Well, after you have configured your IDE, which is linked, then we go into understanding a little bit of the basics. This is a very, very, very quick intro to developing Android with IntelliJ. <laughs> So in the previous video, uh, we had done an empty activity uh, on Android and it was just more about how to get it running. On this video, it's just basic interactions with, with Android. So we're gonna be creating an empty activity and we're gonna call it first app. I'm gonna choose Android 29 uh, and just get it to run. If for whatever reason, um, your, well, once you have your device, later which is going to start our device and it's going to uh, try to run the application which is where we left it on, on the previous video this is where we left it last time which is just essentially running a hello world from this point how do we start using more of the interesting stuff how do we start making the UI react um, the simplest way of, of getting there would be to go into the layout of the app and open the main activity. An activity in Android is basically a view or, or a view controller or a window if you want to think it that way. That's a little inaccurate, but it's the simplest way to try to explain it. There's some nuances there, but this is not a full Android tutorial, so it's more about understanding the general view of things, of how things interact, and just how do you can cr create something really basic really quick. So the activity is the contents of the application, what we're going to be showing. So I'm going to select this hello world, which um, this guy is cons constrained to just like 50% of the of the screen. And uh, in this case, it's just trying to like center it. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to add a button to it because in this particular case, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change this to uh, to go into, I don't know, let's say get it a little further in so now we have it constrained to like half and half and then this guy and this guy are also constrained so it's it should be okay so now we have it constrained to the middle of the screen and if we were going to relaunch our app and we switch back to our emulator we're gonna see now that we've got a button this button, we're gonna give it an idea of like add one because we're this is just gonna be a basic counter that we're gonna do that when you press a button, it's gonna add a text view which we are gonna add right now and also maybe constrain it to this. So you can see how I can create that view by just dragging into it and now again, I can go again and check my view into the emulator and right now it's at that distance, but I have not constrained it to the sides. A constraint is just um, a restriction that we're putting on the layout for um, this uh, thing to to actually work. So now I have, by dragging it to the sides, I have it at zero, zero, uh, but it's actually at 50%. At so if we go again and retry it, you can see how it put it in, uh, in basically the center with a specific distance from the button. So that's how the constraints works. This is, I'm constraining a certain distance from from the ending of it until the horizontal end, and another one until the beginning, and then the one on the bottom, I am constraining to the top of the button. So then things can be fluid depending on, on the different uh, phones that they are. On uh, the text view, uh, we're going to change the text to just say zero for now because I want that this button and I'm going to change this to say plus one that this button every time that I click it this value is going to change this is something really simple but we're going to try to get it to work in a simple task that actually shows us how we can click how we can start making something really basic on Android now that we've got this we can create on our main activity we're going to create a function that it's going to be public void and we're going to call it add one and we're going to tell it what is the view that it's calling it obviously we need to import 
by using Alt Enter, we import in here our Android view. And when we go back to our activity editor, we can select the button and say that in the case of a click, we're gonna select the add one method from the main activity. So if I go back here and I add system out print and I say here and reload, you can see that when it's loaded uh, in this area where it's the the run uh, log, I can every time that I click it, it's going to have this here thing. So again, I can click it a couple more times and it keeps adding more. So this is the point where we, in this area of the code, this is our controller. And for other references of uh, model view controller, there's some other videos. This one, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just going to continue to try to link the button and the text. What I want to do is to affect the text view. And I'm just going to make it as a reference to uh, another view. And everything in Android works by an ID. And the ID is provided by the activity uh, in here. So if we call it, since we call it add one, the, the way that we're going to reference that object, that the pointer to that part of the code is by using the R, which is the reference object that holds pointers to everything in the app. So then we're going to do ID dot add one. We need to also call the function that it's going to find that view. So if we do find view by ID and we put this as an argument, the ID, then it's, it's going to return us a text view that we can then manipulate. So assuming that we got it, the best, the easiest way is again, we can, we can print out the reference to the view. And if it compiles and runs, whenever we're calling the emulator and we can see here in the log, it's printing an app compat button, uh, which is essentially the reference to the live object of that. So after that, then uh, what we need to do is to retrieve that value. So we're going to say uh, the value of uh, that button by referencing it as an int. And I'm going to get it via the, the parse int because I want to convert it from a string that it's on the label all the way back to an int. So I'm going to say that the text view dot get text dot to string because uh, I have to go dot to string because it's returning a char sequence. So if we look at the char sequence is um, something more particular to Android rather than just a string. So we convert that char sequence to a string and then we do val plus plus and then we say tx dot set text integer to string val. Now we're converting that number into a string just to see how it works. Now we've got our counter and something happened here that it is breaking. So let's look, let's look at that. Looks like the parse int in this area is not too happy with it. And the reason is I think that I referenced this guy as add one. So I'm going to change this to add one button, add one text view and then this one we're gonna add one button there was a mistake there so now that I have the proper references I gotta change this one because I'm not really IntelliJ was too smart enough to change it for us and, and fix it but I was pointing at the button rather than to the view so I, I want to use the text view Now you can see how it increments. The most important thing is to make sure that you name your objects correctly in here, that you put the proper function, that you can say it set up the proper constraints, and then uh, some simple applications could happen. I hope you found this useful and please subscribe to the channel and like this video and leave us a comment. Thank you.